Okay, there's one. What a shot. Y'all love the Delta Pew Pew video from the Delta Force training video. So we're gonna take this image from me and my old time and my sniper and reconnaissance platoon. And we're gonna make my favorite sniper build here in Ground Branch. Let me know what your guys' favorite sniper loadout is and feel free to try this one out as well. Okie dokie, we're gonna start all over. Ooh, teaser, this is the OIF build. Get some cool shit coming, but let's get into the proper fitting. You guys are gonna come over to primary, then out of the one, two, three, four, five, you're gonna click on the rifle with the optic on top of it. All right, so we're gonna start from scratch. You guys can see right here, out of all the sniper rifles in the game, there's four. You have the M110, the M110, Kilo one, the Mark 14 EBR, and the SVD. From what I know, the only difference in this game right now between the Kilo and the regular variant is that this one is a lot longer, but it's also lighter, and then you have a, a little bit more rail space for utilizing the weapon system and putting attachments and stuff on it. What I like to actually use is the OG M110. Um, I haven't actually used the M110 Kilo in real life, Welcome but up. we're gonna use the regular M110 because also that's what you guys see in the image right here of me uh, shooting the M110. Pause, so the image I had in my head was wrong. I was shooting the M110. However, my buddy Bach, everyone say hi, is shooting the M110. So this is the sniper rifle we're gonna be building today. What the, stop looking at my booty, bro. That's America's ass. Why are you looking at my booty? Don't look. And everyone say hi to Far. Hey, bitch. Miss you. Love you. Okay, back to the video. This is what we have right now for the M110. Let's build it out. We'll start with lasers. Uh, we will put a PEC-15 on it. Boom, boom, boom. Right here on the side. Let's go ahead down to rail mounts. This is the tricky part. Depending on the type of optic that I'll use for this M110, it may or may not cause me to do a offset rail. However, for this game, these optics punch out really good, which means they're not too zoomed in. You can kind of use it like a regular optic. I don't think an offset rail is truly necessary. Or, you know, maybe we'll just put it on so that you guys can get a vibe of it. Actually, you know what? We will do that. We'll use the most punched in optic in the game, which means it's actually going to see the farthest, which is going to be the PM2. So we're going to throw this motherfucker on here. See how it takes up a lot of that rail space? This thing is thick. I'm going to go back up. I'm actually going to put a red dot on it. And the reason I'm doing that is because let's say it is close and personal. This thing is starting at times five magnification so if i do have to end up going into the room it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass to aim however i could just fire from the hip which would be best but for the purposes of the game we're just gonna go ahead and throw a canted optic on there once we do that we're gonna come back up to rail mounts offset rail oh actually you know what i'm gonna correct myself i am not going to put a optic on here because if you do this optic will be blocked by the knob right here next we're gonna put on under barrel i really wish these bipods worked in the game but they do not we're gonna throw these bipods on and then also we're gonna throw on a little uh stubby grip just for when we are moving and we're utilizing those grips and we're not prone these weapon systems are technically meant to be fired from either the prone or a stable position platform shooting position so on and so forth not really meant to be moving and shooting but you can do that i love this weapon system because it's a great designated marksman's rifle and it, it's semi-automatic and it can reach so far so i think it's great and it truly allows you to if you're in a good position engage send multiple rounds on target it just looks really good so then we're gonna throw the suppressor on there that's one thing that's so weird about this m110 is the suppressor is so fucking long look at this look at this Boom. Oh my goodness. Looks good though. We just have this standard mags. This is going to be our Rogue One loadout, okay? Or what should we call it, team? Y'all can help me out. I don't know if I want to call it Raptor Actual because that's more of a, a call sign. So is Raptor One, but what'd be like a cool name for this? What do you think? <clears throat> Snipey Pew Pew? Ooh, we'll call it the fuck. I don't even know how to spell it. Hold up. I gotta, I gotta jump out, go to Google to make sure I'm spelling something correctly. All right, we're going to call this build parallax. When you're engaging at different meters and stuff like that, it's called adjusting parallax. And that's just kind of like fucking with your reticle and refocusing a lot of shit so you can snipey. But I think it's also a really cool name. So we're going to call it parallax. I like it. 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 We'll do a, a regular patrol glocky. We have to also rock the ghillie top. For those of you who are wondering what kind of top I use uh, in this game mode, it would definitely 100% be the ghillie top. So instead of rocking the helmet for headgear, we're going to throw on the ghillie hood. But you want to be tan, not green. Green is way too dark, so you stick out. And then let alone, this is also what we wear. We wear our ghillie top, so on and so forth. Oh, I should have worn my ghillie top for this video, but whatever. If you guys haven't seen it, it's on the uh, main YouTube channel's um, Sniper Reconnaissance video. Uh, this kind of sucked but we never carry grenades we would carry smoke would carry pistol magazines 
Uh, we would not carry a breaching charge. Actually, you know what? If I'm being 100% honest, we typically would rock a JPC. However, most people rock like micro chest rigs and stuff like that first type of a tune. So we're going to actually rock the chest rig. We'll rock a Ranger green chest rig. We're not going to carry that frag. We are going to carry these mags. If these were bigger maps and you could make adjustments, then I would possibly use a range finder. But that's not the case. And I would use binos, but that's not the case either. We'll do a green smoke and then we'll do a yellow smoke. And then that's our chest rig. And then for the undershirt, we're going to wear the long sleeve coat. We actually like to keep the long sleeves because your skin is truly exposed all the time. So we'll throw on that long sleeve coat. We will rock the battle belt because we typically don't carry a lot of shit on our rigs. Then we've got the battle belt. Let's see what's on the battle belt. I think I have, bro, I have so many grenades. I love grenades in this game. Um, then we got more flashbangs. That's fine. We got pistol mags. Very important. We got primary ammo. Cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Holster will be the same. Tactical gloves. They should be the pig gloves. Cool. Then and hiking shoes. You could do Merrells or combat boots. At the time, I'm rocking motherfucking combat boots. These look like Solomons, which is perfect. We're always rocking Schmegmas because you're basically going to be sitting in sun all the time. So we like rock Schmegmas in it if you were in the sniper reconnaissance side of the house and just chill. And you get it nice and wet, you throw it on your head. Or you can use it to actually conceal your rifle. We throw the schmegma over it if we didn't have a veil. So that way it would conceal the rifle wherever it's at. So we got Parallax, our M110. We've got the Glock 19. We've got the Tan Ghillie Hood. We got the Ranger Green Micro Chest Rig. And then we got the OCP Raptor 1 belt. Then we got our OCP holster, Tan Schmegma, ACU coat, OCP with the sleeves all the way down to cover up as much skin as possible. Even though I don't think they're very good, we're going to rock Ghillie Pants. And and then we're going to make sure we're rocking the tan ghillie pants, OCP gloves, and then the coyote brown combat boots. We'll call this Raptor Actual. Respect to Raptor Actual, baby. Big hotness, big hotness, big hotness. Let's go ahead and see how it looks. Oof. Oof. Aiming down the optics. See how we're punched in already? That's why I kind of wanted to do that red dot. But just point it to the front. And if you shoot, it's basically going to hit whatever's there, okay? Another good trick, when you're on the high ready with your sniper rifle, see where the tip of your rifle is when you aim down sight. So if I put this right on his head and I let go, if you're looking at the tip of the suppressor and you just look down two little, there's two little slashes, right? If you look at the second slash, that's kind of where the rounds are gonna impact. Basically, if I'm looking right here, all right, so it changes a little bit over distance, obviously, but that's kind of like your line is, using that suppressor's angle right there is you're like, oh shit, I gotta shoot. Boom. You don't even have to look down the optic. You can just start clicking away. You're like, oh, they're right there. You can use it as your optic instead of having to actually, oh, he's right there. If, if they don't see you, take the time to fucking look down the optic and find them. Now, if they just pop up right in front of you, then you just want to be like, and, and shoot them from the hip. I wish the bipods worked in this game, but unfortunately they do not. Actually, you know what? We'll go here to alley. We're going to move around the back and try and get on this rooftop. 50 enemy trained. We got 20 minutes to get them all. Let's do it. So he had no rifle pointed at me. So I was like, all right, I got a second to kind of look down my optic and get him. So if you have a magnified optic and it can push like this one from five to 25 or any other optic that has some range, you're going to right hand click on your mouse. Then you're going to press alt on your keyboard. You're going to hold it. And then on your scroll, on your mouse right here, you're going to scroll. And it's going to cause you to punch in. And then if you want to punch out, just scroll back on your mouse pad. And then once again, boom, punch in, punch out. And then you can let go of the alt. That's how it works. We're going to punch in. Another option you could have is for the peck. Oh, wait. We didn't put a peck on this one. Fuck me. Why isn't there a peck? I thought we did put a peck on this thing unless I accidentally took it off. I was going to say you guys can use the red dot on it. Oh, shit. Well, that's the sign we need to put the red dot on it. The uh, peck on here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I can't put it on there with the uh, peck back then a little bit. I'm just being uh, with where my peck's at. All right, cool. There we go. Oof, what a clusterfuck. I have my red dot set up, but I'm actually not going to use it unless I need to. So trigger, light, and laser discipline, very important. We can turn it on if we want to. Boom, we can look. He doesn't see us, so I'm just going to come here. Bam, and he's done. Turn my laser off. Fuck my asshole wide open. Son of a bitch. We're just going to do it the way it should be done. Raptor actual going dark.
one big secret about this shit is understanding how nature and environments and structures all work and look. I'm not looking down my optic right now. There's people right there. You're not supposed to look behind the optic of a sniper rifle. You're not supposed to look through glass. Basically more than like 15 to 30 minutes, depending on situations and so on and so forth. So you'll typically swap out with people. But one really good thing is when you're looking through glass, you're very honed in on one specific thing. If you pull off of the glass, it allows you to see everything that's going on. And you're allowed to look for target indicators and all these other things that aren't n natural in nature. So if you kind of stood still and slightly scanned, you're able to see movement. Boom, there's movement right over there. Okay, and it's much easier to see when you're not punched through an optic because your FOV is much wider. I gotta kill these dudes, are they gonna murder me? Another big thing is you don't have a fully automatic weapon system. You're slightly disadvantaged. Um, yes, you can reach far, but in a close fight, you're not very good. You always want to utilize cover. So that's why you'll see me always maneuvering around something. If people are closing in on you, just because you have this sniper rifle and it's like super cool, don't be afraid to transition to the pistol. Jumping to your pistol is going to be the most beneficial in close quarters. All right, so see, I can see movement. Boom, boom, I'm going to punch in. And another thing too is don't burn your ammo unless you truly think you're going to die. Don't be sending a like five shot down here until you hit it. Just take your time, punch in, find the target, send the round. And don't be aiming for the head. Just aim center mass. There's not a lot of like bullet drop in this game. So you can basically aim center mass. So right in the chest and you'll hit them. And that in case they like dip left or right, because remember that round has to travel, it can still hit them. If you're aiming here, you only have this much on each side to hit them or miss by. So if they move, that's less time of movement. If you aim center mass, you get this much time or this much space. So when the round's traveling, they could be moving, but it might still hit them instead of missing. So that's why you want to aim center mass. And that's why I do in this game. That's why I'm able to actually make some good shots is because I'm not always aiming for the head. So they can't find me right now because of the suppressor. It's doing its job. And the suppressor does not make you, it doesn't make the rifle not sound like anything. What it does is it causes the sound waves to like disperse and not make it sound like it's coming from where it's coming from. So it's harder to basically pick, fuck! If you want to use this sniper rifle for night operations, you need to have this optic on here. You need the AMPVS-22 if you want to shoot this thing at nighttime. God, what a pain in the ass, right? Big heavy bitch. I'm not gonna put it in a game, but I will show y'all. You can look through nods right now if I had them on, but when you look down the optic, you need to take your nods off or it will be blurry and you will not be able to see. So basically we'll imagine the nods go off and then boom, now you can see with this. And yes, you can still zoom in and punch out. And they're done. Let's try and do this like stealthily. And in the game, I highly recommend you don't always walk around with your weapon to the front, um, especially when you're sniping. Because these bipods don't work and so on and so forth, uh, if you're moving like this and you go to aim, if you're running and stuff, you'll have a lot of sway to where if you use the high ready and then you go to aim, there's not as much sway and it's much more accurate. Make sure you guys are also paying attention to where your optics punched in at. I always try to make sure to punch out my optic every single time I'm done using it just because I don't want to have someone kind of close to me and I'm punched behind them and then I get shot in the face and die. So I don't really see anybody else right now. I'm sure there's gonna be more guys, but let's go ahead and keep moving. Because you have this ghillie top, make sure you're using it, make sure you maneuvering in the brush, not just like plainly out along the roads. Select myself really quick. All right, I think we're good. Oh shit, we got dudes over here now. Two of them. You guys notice how we had two people right there? When you send your shot, right? It causes this optic, so let's say I'm aiming at the tip of this post. When you shoot, your rifle goes bang, okay? If there's like two dudes right side by side and you know you can hit two shots and it will kill the first one and it'll kill the other one, don't just go bang, bang, because it will, Jesus, it'll go rise up and it'll be like bang, and your second shot will be here. Give it the rifle a second to settle. So go bang, and then when it settles, bang, you send your shot again. So this dude doesn't know where we're at because we're using a suppressor and we're crouched right now. So let's see if we can... I like to get inside so I can show you all some good positions. All right, there's one right here. Boom, we're actually going to walk and shoot. I hear a dude, so I'm switching. If you're in a PvP or whatever, go ahead and stay inside. Utilize this cover, okay? Utilize shadows. Like, so let's say, you know, you can just be like right here behind all this. You don't have to be 
right up on the window. Figure out where you want to shoot and then kind of try to angle yourself. But sit back. Don't be right up on the windowsill because then they'll either see your flash or they'll be able to see your shadow, you know? And if even if they blind fire inside, if you're way back, they're not going to hit you and you can get behind cover. Got one over there. All right, so there's a mistake. See how I'm punched in? My optic's up high, but my rifle's down low, so I hit the concrete. So I need to adjust. So now I'm going to end it, and I'm going to go into... My server deathmatch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big D is like, yeah, fuck it. Man. I like, I like, I like. Dylan, don't fucking stream snipe me right now because I'm making a video. Let's see if I can make this thing work. What I got? Okay, there's one. What the fuck am I getting suppressed from? Oh, it's behind me. Fuck. Oh my god. Did I get my killies? Fuck, man. I was pinched because someone's definitely behind me shooting. Is this fucking Dylan, bro? Is this fucking Dylan? Dylan, I'm gonna kill you. Sorry. It was you or me. Oh, who the fuck is over here sniping? I want to find you. I think they're inside of that, like, concrete building, so I just don't have an angle on them. Oh, yep. I hear footsteps. How in the fuck are you still alive? How? Wow! F4. F4. It did it. No. It did it. <sighs> what a shot. My god, I'm way too punched in. Alright, let me give it this cat trick team just Oh! Wang, you motherfucker! I know you stream on me, you bitch! Why does oh he keep god. spawning me <laughs> on this side? What? I'm about to shoot a bitch. Where the fuck did this person just go? Dylan's gonna come for you, Nico. I will spawn for the fuck out of Dylan. Goosey, you shot me in the balls. Nico, really the first person you kill when you get back is me? I had to. Did it spawn me in a house with a person upstairs? This thing keeps sounding weird. Definitely a person on the roof. Am I getting... Are people... <laughs> Woo! What is he saying? He's asking why you're using Nomi's call sign, apparently. What is Nomi's call sign? Uh, Raptor. Raptor actual? Something like that? When does Nomi use that ever? Uh, forever. What do you mean? Oh, I didn't even know that. Because this is our old call sign. It's a normal call sign. It is a universal call sign. I should close these doors, but I don't want to give my shit away. Fuck. Damn. Oh, you ready okay, for everybody, it? we've got to start awesome. using shotguns. We've got to make Nico look very good at this game now. Okay, come on. Bitch, I'm already better than you, oh, Wang, you oh, fuck! Oh. Wang, I'm about to call you Dylan 2.0. I swear to God, if Dylan just pops one off on me, I'm going to shit my pants. Dylan lives in your walls. Nico, I'm coming for your ass. You know what? I don't even care if it's not Dylan. Oh, wow, Dylan killed himself? What the fuck? Did he? <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know what the fuck. He jumped off a building or something. Dude, that's crazy. Poor Dylan. You go, why? I told you it was going to be the first, bro. Damn. Um, gotta come kill you. I know you're in that blue and white building. I'm colorblind, so I don't even know what building I'm in. Ha ha. It's all part of my plans. Bro, who's shooting at me? Stop, 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 stop. I'm shooting like I'm trying, he's like, I'm trying to stream kill Nico, bro. Fuck. I can't even do my sniping, bro. Yeah. Come for you. Goosey coming from my booty too, bro. God damn. Find the whole fucking server again. That's a long shot. Ah. Uh, yeah. Fucking <laughs> death. Are you fucking kidding me because I'm canted? Because I'm fucking canted. It would not give me the fucking kill, bro. Ah! I hate my life. Oh my god. Gun down in the fucking back. Fuck Dylan, I was yeah. trying to kill you behind that fucking car. I don't know if I can do this.
Yes, you can. Oh, is this my spot? No, fuck. Yes. I wonder if I can get there. Ah, oh, fuck! You can't even get to it!